Praise the Lord. Welcome to the last night of Jesus or Muhammad Marathon and the subject, Slavery in Islam. Yes, you heard me right. Slavery in Islam. And we have tonight the third part of a three-part series with Osama Dakduk. I want to welcome him first as he's been on uh, last night and then uh, last night earlier at 6.30 and then at, at 11, I believe it was. This is the third part in a series talking about slavery in Islam. Brother Osama, welcome back to the show. Thanks, Brother Joseph. Good to be here. You got Thank a lot you. more to share, don't you? God is good. Yes, indeed. Amen. Amen. <laughs> And I'm very, very thankful that uh, Pastor Emery Moss uh, would uh, grace us with his presence tonight. B Brother Emery, thank you for being here. Well, good to be here. Glad to be back with uh, uh, you guys again. You know, ever since I met you and you first came to ABN, uh, I've wanted to do this show with you. All right. Well, I this, enjoy doing it uh, with you guys. You, you I, I like the diversity here. I'm sitting next to an Egyptian yes. and an Iraqi. Yes. <laughs> so. Yes. Well, 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 and, you know, we're going to talk about African Americans, mm -hmm. but he's the only African on the screen right now, you know, as far as, as, far as birth. That's, uh, I believe that's a very important point, Brother Joseph, yeah. because a lot of people, when they hear me uh, speaking against Barack Hussein Obama, yeah. as a Muslim man, uh, uh, a non American, yeah. you're a racist. I said, Excuse me, I'm a racist. <laughs> Uh, I may be no dark, but I, I promise you, I am more African than any body living in this country. I was born in Egypt. I am a, an African by birth, and I'm an American citizen. But you know what? So, something very important. I'm proud to be an American, yeah. but I'm more proud to be a Christian. Amen. That's what we, Amen. what we miss as a church, that Amen. we talk about color and we talk about uh, ethnicity, where we yeah. come from. Yeah. We forgot the blood of Jesus, and that's what makes us what we that's are. That's right. Now Amen. we no longer know anyone according to the flesh, Amen. but according to right. the Spirit. Amen. Amen. And so, you know, and that, that's a beautiful thing. I mean, when, when you're a real believer, I mean, I can go any place as a missionary and, and, you know, to some church, wherever, place I've never been before. If they're true believers, they welcome me into their home, uh -huh. I'm part of the family. Right. Yep. Sit at the table, they got a place for me. Hey, have another helping. Here, you take our bed. You go to sleep in there. Doesn't matter if they're black, white, uh, Chinese. Doesn't matter. Yeah. They're Cause, believers. Because they're body of Christ. Oh, That's right. it's a beautiful thing. supposed to be. Amen. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, I would to God that all Christians, uh, all professing Christians were true Christians, part of that body and mature in that. But uh, anyhow, let's go now to Brother Osama. Brother Osama, uh, we've got a lot to cover. <coughs> and uh, last night, we ended off, you, you were comparing, in particular, uh, is uh, slavery in the West, slavery which people that generally would call themselves Christians, some of them were Christians, uh, actually were involved in, mm -hmm. and the slavery in the East. And you, you introduced our, our listeners who didn't know and our viewers to the fact that Islamic slavery took many, many more times for much, much longer slaves from Africa than the West ever did. 1,400 years comparing to 300 years, uh, 180 million comparing to uh, 12, 13 million. Amazing. I mean, it's, it's, it's a, the number is shocking, the difference between the, the slavery in the West and slavery in Islam, and, and, and praise God, slavery yeah. in the West is a sin, yes. and it is dealt with, and blood has been shed. White Christian American yeah. died to set the black in America free. Yeah. Hundreds and thousands of them, not few hundred, hundred thousand, yes. and nobody talk about it. Right. Nobody talk about right. it. Uh, but in, in, in slavery in Islam, slavery in the Middle East, it's not a sin. Yeah. Nobody does for it. That's right. your right. You yeah. have the right to have it, as we're going to even cover it more and more tonight. Well, that's where I want to start with you. Uh, we, you've been, you showed a lot of those statistics, and uh, now the question comes to you, and that's what I'm going to give it over to you. A lot of people say, well, yes, but just because Muslims did it doesn't mean it's truly Islamic. That's Prove point. to us that it's really part of Islam. And that's why we have on the screen right now, I'd like to uh, our uh, control room to come up with me back to the screen. The question is, what does the Islam teach about slavery? Yeah. What does uh, the Islam teach about slavery? And uh, I'd like first to start with video. Uh, watch this video. And uh, let me introduce this video first before we even start the video. Yeah. Here is this wonderful lady. She interviewed uh, the two top Muslim scholars. As you can even hear from her own words, she got the two top uh, uh, scholars in Egypt, the Mufti and another doctor. And she asked the question, the right hand possessed. Slave, does it exist in the Quran? And she needs an answer from the scholar. Let's watch this together. Okay. 
I swear by Allah, we do not disagree. There is no doubt in the beauty of the moral life in our religion. My dear sister. It will come out of the lips of the Mofti that there is a verse in the Quran that is abrogated. How? I want to ask you. Go ahead. What your right hand possesses. If you fear, you will not treat them equally. Does it exist today? Or what your right hand possesses. Doctor, please answer me. This is near, that you may not have hardship, and by Allah we will live to see the Muslims have one wife, and he will have five, six, seven, eight, nine slaves. Those are outside of the Islamic law numbers. So this teaching can be? These questions, the time of the program is not sufficient to answer, and this will bring dishonor <laughs> to the most holy of the people. Your Honor, you are uncomfortable from discussing this subject. Sure, I have 6,000 verses, and you're going to pick up one verse of them and discuss it in an hour, and you're going to make it a subject for a program. Doctor, you know that there are some of the evangelists on one of the television stations that opened this topic for more than 20 times, and not one of you respond to them. I'm telling you bluntly. Oh, Doctor, wait, that is another topic. People like this, we do not respond to them. We don't respond to them. <laughs> yes, we don't respond to them. So who is going to respond to them? Not me, not you. Will I respond to them? No, no, not anyone respond to them. Dear Mofti, I'm talking to you as a father to me. We, when I tell you I am your daughter, I need your help. And you are one of the Muslim scholars. You have to convince me in this time of education life. With the internet and TV and all these things, so I must respond. I must use my mind, and we must respect the mind of other people without being angry. Now, I, I have two of the best scholars of Azar, and you are required to explain this topic. That Islam encourages slavery, and, the, and that the early Muslim fathers used to enjoy slaves. How can we answer to this claim? I don't care, and if you don't like it, who cares? Your question is too small. Do you believe that the Quran is the word of Allah? Or like the Hadith, have weak and strong sayings? I am, Basma Waba, a believer, but, but... When I ask teacher Basma, it is like me asking any one other in the audience. We ask a question very gently, very gently. We are believers, we are believers. I'm going to say, people, just a minute. I'm not talking about believers. We are here discussing a topical discussion. What do we mean by a topical discussion? That means I tell the people, do you believe that the Quran is the word of Allah? They say yes. It does not have any corruption. So would you read now from the Book of Women, Quran 4.3? And if you fear that you cannot deal fairly among the orphans, so marry what appeals to you from the women to Two and three and four. So if you fear that you will not treat them equally, so one wife or have sex with what your right hand possesses. So should I get rid of it? So what am I going to do with this first now? Will I erase it with an eraser? Is it required for I have a beautiful religion and I defend it? What should I do with the Quran? This is the first I question. Am a when we How bring answers from the Hadith, How can they I say answer? it is weak. How do I answer? Oh, Mahdi Mabrook. My friend, I am not a suspect. My religion, the words of Allah, says, or what your right hand possesses. In the Quran, chapter 23, 1 through 2, Indeed, the believers have prospered, those who are humble in their prayers, until, he says in verses 5 through 7, and those who are guarding their private parts, except from the spouses or what their right hand possesses, slaves, so surely they are not blamed. So whosoever desires to reach more than that, so those are the transgressors. So what can I? I answer. This is my religion. This is my religion. I am not saying, hello, hello, in the name of Allah, the merciful. So in simple words, both of you do not have an answer. We have the whole world answer. This is our religion. <laughs> this mm. is my religion. Mm. Mm. This is Islam. Mm. Yeah. This mm. is the Quran. Yeah. This is what Allah wants every Muslim in the world to do, to have whatever your right hand possesses. Unlimited number. And by the way, there's, there's so much lie from the Mufti. Yeah. The Mufti said, there are 6,000 verses in the Quran. Yeah. And you want to pick up one verse yeah. and you make a show about it. I'm sorry, Mr. Mufti. It's <laughs> not one verse. Plenty of verses as we're going to see here. So, you know, if it's one verse, I will ignore the topic. We'll not even waste our time. Well, we gonna, we'll ignore it. How about that? look closer at 4.3 in particular? Well, it's coming up. Good. It's all coming, I promise yeah. you. Good, good. So okay. this, it's not just the Quran. It's also the Hadith. It, it, what's amazing is what's, what's, what's killing me, what's really making me a little bit, uh, my blood get warm inside my veins and start, start expanding, you know. Muslim in America, they teach American people, especially black. Yeah, yeah. My people from Africa, they teach them here what? Islam, 
does not teach slavery. No. Slavery, you can find in the Bible, as we saw in Leviticus and other places, slavery is not in the Bible. But Islam is all people the same. Black and white the same. As a matter of fact, black teach that black are the one who are supposed to be Muslim by Allah nature, right. as you were sharing, brother, yeah. you're going to share yes, a little right. bit more. Yeah. So it, 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 black is the religion of God. Black, the slave, Abd, is that's what it is. Yeah. And we saw Ibn Khaldun yesterday. Yeah. He's, he told us that black are naturally dumb animals. Yeah. That's, a, mm. that's a thinker. Mm. And that's the greatest Islamic uh, Arab thinker to yeah. tell me that all black are naturally dumb animals. Yeah. That's why this, they have to be slaves. Mm. So mm. obviously we, we, we have a lot mm. to talk about here about uh, uh, this conversation. My blood is boiling now. <laughs> uh, well, 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 now you, 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 let me tell you, this same guy, uh -huh. Pastor Emery, uh -huh. You see, now we're not going to have time to get into this subject sufficiently, but let me just mention it again real quickly. It's called the, the Muqaddima, the uh -huh. Muqaddima of Ibn Khaldun in, I think it's the 13th century, but he wrote this great, in Islam, the greatest historical uh, work in Islamic history. Mm -hmm. Great scholar. And he said what you said about, uh, and he used the word Negroes, and then uh, he said this. He was talking about, it's not just that they, they belittle the black, but they belittle the white too. He used an allegory, or not an allegory, he used a description. He said, uh, it's like an oven, a piece of bread. The, the, the womb of the woman is the, is, is the oven. Mm -hmm. And you put in bread. Now, if you take it out too early, it's, white. it's real white and pale. It's not very good. You know, it's not good <laughs> bread. That's like the white people, the Europeans. Okay. You know, weak, white, uh -huh. pale, good for nothing, you know. Uh, wow. You put it in too long, black, burnt. You can't eat it, tastes terrible, worthless. <laughs> but when you put it in and it comes out golden brown, ah. Oh. And who are the golden brown people? I can only the, imagine. The Arabs. <laughs> can you think of that? So the Arabs are, are God's pinnacle of the human race. Yeah, the Anyone lighter than that is, is not yet Say done. Um, the it, best nation was came to the world is Arab. Yeah. And I have not seen one thing good come out of Arab yet. I'm studying, I'm searching. What Arab have invented or what Arab have done, what Muslim specifically, because we have some Arab who have done a great job, but uh, not Muslim. But I like, the, I like the statement he said, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, what he yeah, said. Yeah. That's I what don't he care. Said. I can't yeah. believe a mufti of Egypt, yeah. he said, we don't answer these people. We right. never Anybody answer. Anybody ask a question, we don't, and we don't care. Right, right. that's right. Um, <laughs> the word of Allah. Allah said, uh, the gentleman, the doctor who's on the left, who's dressed in a suit, uh, he's quoting her the verses of the Quran. Yeah. He gave her the answer, but she still said in the end, and I feel sorry for this wonderful lady because to me, I think she had not got it. He gave her the answer. She asked a question, does Islam allow slavery? Does early Muslim fathers, did Muhammad have slave, own slave, enjoy sexual use mm -hmm. slave, mm -hmm. and all this? Said, and yeah. and he, he gave her verses right. of the Quran, right. but she said, you don't have an answer for me. Excuse me, my dear sister. Do you have ear to hear? Yeah. He gave you the answer. He told you that's what Allah said. What should I do with it? I erase it with a eraser? No, yeah. that's the word of Allah. The answer is yes, my dear yeah. sister. Yeah. Yes, my dear brother. Yeah. Everyone is watching us right now. The Quran, Allah's word, teached for Muslims to have slaves, and that is what your right hand possesses. Let's look at that verse. Absolutely. I'm getting anxious. Uh, uh, Pray uh, for uh, me. Me too. Me too. Be anxious for nothing. Not uh, even the Quran. We're going to move to the first verse. Uh, let's watch this together on the screen. Chapter yeah. 2, verse 178 is just, uh, just to start. This is oh, just to start. He didn't mention 2, that. 178, we're going to talk about. Here we go. Watch this with me together. All right. <clears throat> O oh, you who have believed, retaliation is decreed on you for the murdered, the free man for the free, and the slave for the slave, and the female for the female. Three different sets of people. 